And all the movies that came out January 2020 wasn't a ton that really came out. January is generally known for being a slower month. First of all, you have The Grudge. That was a supernatural horror film written and directed by Nicholas Pesce. P-E-S-C-E. It's a reboot of a film that came out in 2004, also called The Grudge. That actually is, a, in and of itself, a remake of a Japanese horror film called Ju on the Grudge that came out back in 2002. This The Grudge 2020 is the fourth installment in the Grudge series. It came out January 3rd. And then you had Underwater. That was... Hey, come on, load. That was a sci-fi action horror film directed by William Eubank. It came out January 10th. And then you had Like a Boss. That is a comedy film directed by Miguel Arteta. That came out January 10th. And then you had Free Christ, also known as State of Mind drama film directed co-produced and co-written by john and vent evnet based on a non-fiction book called the free christ of yip yip silanti i may not be pronouncing that right this film came out january 10th and then you had inherit the viper from lionsgate crime drama directed by anthony jurgen in his directorial debut came out january 10th it was released in a limited amount of theaters and then premiered on vod and then you had the sonata that was a mystery thriller film directed by andrew desmond that came out january 10th and then you had the murder of nicole brown simpson that was a crime thriller film directed by Daniel Ferrans that's loosely based on the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. This movie came out January 10th. And then you had Angels Fallen, sci-fi horror film directed by Ali Zamani that came out January 14th. And then you had, let's go back. Bad Boys for Life, that is a buddy cop action comedy directed by Adil and Bilal, sequel to The Bad Boys 2 from 2003, the third installment in the Bad Boys franchise. This one came out January 17th. And then you had Doolittle, that is a fantasy adventure film directed by Stephen Gann, that's based on... The, type, the character of Doolittle, created by Hugh Lofting, primarily inspired by the author's second Dr. Doolittle book, The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle, came out January 17th. And then you had a fall, f you had The Gentleman action comedy film written, directed, and produced by Guy Ritchie that came out January 24th. And then you had The Turning, that's a gothic supernatural horror film directed by Floria Sig Sigismondi. That's a modern adaptation of the 1898 ghost story, The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. Then you had The Last Full Measure, that's a war drama film written and directed by Todd Robinson. That came out January 24th. And then you had John Henry, thriller drama directed by Will Forbes, inspired by the folklore of John Henry. That came out January 24th. And then The Rhythm Section, action thriller film directed by Reed Morano, based on a novel of the same name, came out January 31st. And then Gretel and Hansel, that is a... Dark was a dark fantasy horror film directed by Oz Perkins that's based on the German fairy tale Hansel and Gretel by the Brothers Grimm that came out January 31st. Then you had The Assistant that was a drama film written, directed, produced, and edited by Kitty Green 
that came out January 31st. Out of all these movies, I'm familiar with Gretz, Gretel, and Hansel in that I know about the fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel. Aside from that, I'm familiar with Doolittle because I've seen the Dr. Doolittle movies with Eddie Murphy. I enjoy those. But aside from that, I'm not familiar with any of these other movies, and I haven't actually seen any of them myself. 